This is Lola Lee T. Hey everyone, Natalie Nunn from Baddies West talked to fans today. She talked about Baddies West. She talked about getting a Lambo for the summer. And we all know Natalie is about that bag. So we know she can afford it. She talked about that mysterious bag and nobody ever seems to get to it. She even talked about Tommy Lee not training for their upcoming match, but also touched on Tommy allowing that catfish stalker into her house. Then we found out that Tommy's friends were actually taking advantage of that guy. She talked about so much more. Listen for yourselves. At the end of the day, guys, order the fight so you already have it so that you can get the updates from the app. Like, why is this guy in the middle of the road? Do you want to get hit? Is that a monkey in his hand? Wait, what? Oh my god. Um. Oh, watch out. Get out of the road, people. So, this Sunday, you guys are going to get episode 5, Baddies West. How do y'all feel about Baddies West right now? The drama continues, I can tell you that. <clears throat> It ain't, it's, it's up. Every episode is up. Different people, it just starts going crazy. But you know, that's like natural when you're in a house full of girls, right? Like, everybody's not going to get along. We know that. Everybody's, that's just. I love driving this car. This car is so fast. Ooh, this AMG motherfucking G-Wag. <laughs> Stupid. Is stupid. You know, I love me a little sport. Sport something. I really am about to get the Lambo, though. I'm not going to lie to you, too. I'm not going to lie. I'm about to tell y'all the real. I'm about to get the Lambo. I like the Lambo for the summer. But, um, my God. I know my trainer about to work me. Y'all want to be live with me while I work out today? Since uh, Tommy keeps saying that my workouts are uh, two years old. Bitch, you're delusional. So delusional. Super delusional. I said Razor was doing the most. You know, the thing about it is... <sighs> baddies was... These girls. We gonna get to the bag. That's what we gonna do. All this extra shit. Somehow, someway, we gonna get to the bag. We're definitely gonna get to the bag. And um, I'm not here for no other shenanigans. When Tommy's is like, Yeah, you know what? Let's just... Tommy said, Tommy was like, One more fight. One more fight? The bitch has been fighting all fucking night. I was like, we're not going back downstairs and we're not doing this again. Like, one more round. We were just downstairs for like four hours doing rounds. Like, they already had a round on the bus. <laughs> they had a round downstairs. And now y'all want another round? Tommy, cut it out. <laughs> like, Tag Tommy though, y'all, because I think Tommy needs to join the live. Ooh, we're here at my workout. I think we should have Tommy join the live. I think Tommy, I hope you've been working out, girl. Because I seen you on live the other day, and the only thing you was doing was drinking that wine and um, and, and uh, letting your stalker upstairs in the house. Like, what? <laughs> Why did you let that stalker in the house? Like, what is going on? Tag Tommy. I hope you're working out, sis. I'm here at my at my workout right now. I don't like any of these parking spots. I don't like any of them. Maybe I'll take this one right here. So. <laughs> she left the stalker in the house. I called her. I spoke to her on the phone. She said she, I mean, I get she felt bad or whatever. Her friends took advantage of that guy, but in the house. Oh, absolutely not. You got me all the way fucked up. And the fact that the guy was literally in the, when she would put the camera on him, he'd be like, <laughs> wait, what? Wait, y'all think you think y'all go together? He like I'm on live with you. Like, wait, what in the world is going on? Like, he really thinks they go together. The part that where I had to get off the live was when she had him washing the dishes. Like, he, she had him washing the dishes. Do you hear me? I said, okay, Tommy. Now I see why everybody says you're crazy. I'm still for the I'm still for the bop 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 in that ass. But you are really delusional and crazy. You had that boy in the house. Washing the dishes like, girl, what? What is you on? 
Hell the fuck no. Nah. Y'all make sure y'all get my merch. My merch. Mm -hmm. I'm only wearing my own shit. I don't know what that was just about. Let me, um. There we go. I don't know what filter I clicked. It was crazy. But, right? She liked in the house. That was delusional to me. So delusional. What do you mean, Nat? Do you think you're going to win for real? Yes. What are y'all talking about? First of all, <clears throat> let's have fun. Let's, let's, let's do our big ones. All right, let's do our big ones. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do our big ones. And I saw some comments saying like, oh, it's probably rigged if Natalie wins. What? Wait, what? You would be delusional if you think Tommy is going to like let me win. <laughs> like, where do y'all come up with this shit from? Like, where do y'all come up with this? Then y'all be like, oh, well, you slipped on your jacket. I did. And I love that jacket. I should get it framed. It's like a rock. Everybody talks about that jacket. It's a rock star jacket. And then I did get poked in the eye by Slim. She did take her dirty ass nails and scratch my eye. She did. Mm -hmm. And I love that, that I'm like the underdog here. I love that for me. That really is amazing. Like, what? That's amazing. I'm the underdog. And now, if I win, I didn't see comments like, oh, um, it's rigged. If I win, they just, you know, they just let her win. I don't think that's how it goes when there's, like, you know, a lot of money on the line. We're both getting paid a lot of money to fight. And then, you know, there's like a lot of bets. There's a lot of money on the line just after the fact that we're already making a lot of money to fight. So it's not, it's not going to be taken lightly. So I don't know why you guys think, um, I, uh, I don't know why you guys think, um, we going to be in there play fighting. It's not how it's going to go. At the O2 arena as a Floyd Mayweather undercard. Like what world and delusion do y'all, like what, what? First of all, also, I think for the new people who follow me, I know I've been on TV for 15 years, so I have my diehard fans, and then I got new people who follow me, and then mixed with whatever shows Tommy has done, and then my BGC fan bases are tapping in over with Tommy, and then Tommy's uh, loving hip-hop, whatever, tapping over here. But let me just be very clear here. I'm at heart a competitor, not in life with, like, with, like, you know, just in life. I compete, like... When it comes to, like, uh, sports, like, I'm really, you know, I, I grew up not on TV. I didn't grow up in Hollywood. I didn't grow up trying to be a, a cute girl and get surgeries and, and have, like, you know, I grew up, like, a tomboy, so respectfully. Um, you know, so um, when it comes to sports and if I'm getting paid and I'm getting paid to, pro, you know, to perform and to, to entertain in the sense of get in the ring and put on a show... And fight, that's what I'm going to do. 100%. So, on that note, I'm waiting for my trainer to pull up. Who? Another thing, I've always boxed. So, the illusion of Natalie, like, getting in the gym and working out. I've been, um, I've always kind of, like, lightweight, just trained. It's just, like, a fun sport anyways to me. Um, sparring and all of that, so... But anyways, um, who got their dogs took? Hi, BGC fans. I love you guys all, BGC T 2020. And that's the thing. This is when it becomes a cult anyways. So the BGC fans... They already know what time it is. They gonna rock with the baddest. If it was any other baddie in the in the ring, we all are supposed to stick together, anyways. That's how this goes. Now the love and hip hop, y'all can team whoever y'all want over there. But at the end of the day, we are a cult following, and it's been showing from 
everything I've ever done. Whether it's whatever show I go to, the whole BGC community follows. Whether it's whatever. So, I've been beaten up by everybody. Okay. I love that for me. <laughs> I love that for me. And I'm still in the ring. Like, I get to be in the ring at the O2 Arena in London collecting a sickening bag. Jesus. How does that keep happening? <laughs> how do I? How? How? I love that for me. I do. I really do. <laughs> I love that for me. I swear to God I do. Like, I would be mad if it wasn't. I'd be like, damn, I, I wish I could get that money right now. <laughs> like, I'll be mad if it wasn't me. I, I love that for me. Sure. Who's next? I think we should do a whole tour with Floyd Mayweather. And we should have baddies, undercards. As long as I get to do every single one of them. Mm -hmm. I love that for us. I do. I really do. <laughs> Wait, someone asked where Journey is? Guys, it's 1 o'clock here. She's in her private school. She's in her private Montessori school. I know. It's annoying, huh? It is. I wish I was Journey. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's so fucking annoying. Like, I wish I was Journey. But Journey's life is lit. Tomorrow we have Paw Patrol live front row. Last night, Disney on Ice backstage. Like, Journey has a publicist. That's insane. She has a publicist. My child has a publicist. She has like almost 60,000 followers on Instagram. She has, a, she has a, a literally a Disney rep and a publicist. She can go to any Disneyland anywhere in the world <laughs> and get access to like whatever their private Mickey Mouse clubs are. Private, they have like little like, like restaurant bar clubs for like at Disneyland and Disney World. She's done it all. Disneyland Hong Kong. <laughs> like, what? It's supposed to be at Disneyland Paris. It's annoying. It's really annoying. I know. The big chin bitch. The big chin bitch winning. Journey has the best life. So I don't understand why anyone's asking where Journey is. And she has a dad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was going to say something, but I'm, I, what did my mom always tell me? If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. So I'm going to keep that to myself. But Journey has a dad. Amazing dad. Journey has a nanny now, too. She has a full-time nanny who goes to school with her, <laughs> goes everywhere, like, just with us. I'm like, hey! Oh, hey! I mean, mom and dad are here, but hey! <laughs> what? Her best friend. Nanny slash best friend slash also has a master's in educa children's education, so Journey's learning at all times. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, but where's your dad at? Who's dad? My dad? <laughs> Wait, my dad? What is y'all talking about today? Huh? It's, um, it's time to go work out, guys. I'm waiting for him to text me. Somebody said, I want to be on TV. Oh, my God. And by the way, bad boys... As soon as we get back from London after the fight, right into Bad Boys. So excited about Bad Boys season two. This is going to be an epic season. Houston, I'm excited. Yes, it's 143. Yes, I have natural green, hazel green eyes. Sometimes I never realized your eyes. Yes, are my natural eyes. Konnichiwa! Konnichiwa! Oh, those are our friends from Japan. Look, Chef we our friends from Japan. Tommy, where are you? Are you in my live? Let me see, is Tommy here? Tommy, I want, I want to add you. Say something. Konnichiwa! Yes, I was just in Japan. I had so much fun for the weekend. I flew to Japan for the weekend. It was a ball. And me and Chef D have a video. I told the, the, the club, they put my name on the big screen, Natalie Nunn's here. And, and then they turned around and they said, um, what song do you want to hear? And I said, don't play with it. She's like, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play it. I'm on the mic. And D's like recording on the stage. And then 
one of the Japanese girls was in her outfit, like, you know, the cute Japanese outfits, and she starts breaking it down. And it's literally going viral everywhere. People have been tagging me in this video for the last few days. It's literally probably one of the most viral videos on Twitter, TikTok. I don't even know what's going on. But it was me and Chef D. <laughs> don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. <laughs> Tommy, where are you? But yes, Kanichiwa. I had so much fun in Japan. Uh huh. It was a blast. I think after um, London. Oh, I do have March third, Paris. Um, I'm going to the uh, Givenchy, 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 whatever you want to say, fashion show in Paris, and then straight from Paris to Texas. Where's Tommy? Tommy, where are you? <laughs> I, I can't wait. I cannot wait. Bro, that type of shit is it like literally like I'm excited. You know when you're like so excited for something you barely can sleep at night? But I cannot wait for the O2 arena for fight night. I can't wait. I'm fucking excited. I'm pumped. Mm-hmm. Do my big one. I'm gonna do my big one. I love your grind and hustle. Thank you. Bad boys. Hey, Johnny Blaze. Hey, girl. Hi, Johnny. Hey, sis. Tommy, shopping Tommy needs to be working out. She's going to be tired within 30 seconds. And I would hate to, like, you know, not go all the rounds. I mean, either way. Either way, it's going down. So, I hope Tommy's ready. I will be having merch dropping on the 25th. So, make sure you guys are ready for the merch that's going to drop on my website next Saturday. New merch. New motherfucking merch. If you don't still have the I Still Run LA shirt, if you don't have the Batty Batty Shot O'Clock sweater and shirts and the hoodies and the Batty West official shirts and hoodies, get it now. Uh, they are restocked right now. They were sold out. A lot of sizes were, were completely gone, but everything's restocked. And Saturday, new merch is dropping. Fight night. Can't wait. It's going to be a blast. I don't give a fuck what hood a bitch is from. Y'all are delusional. Like, I really... I'm, I'm about to get off this live because y'all are so delusional. I just found hood. I don't give a fuck. Do you think there's going to be a gun in the arena? Do you think there's going to be a gun in the ring? Do you think she's going to have a shank? What do you think this is going to happen? That girl is this big. Are y'all delusional? I can't wait. That ass... I'm so excited. And if y'all get to get it on this internet, on Beyonce's internet, talking about, oh, this was rigged. Oh, this was fake. I promise you on everything I love, I'm going to clean it up. Clean it up. Ain't going to be no way it could be rigged. Can't be no way it could be anything. She's from the hood. I don't give a fuck. I'm from the Bay. Yeah. So what are we talking about? Oh, she has 48 mugshots. Nobody cares. <laughs> like what? Mugshots? Are y'all? What are y'all on? What is a mugshot gonna do for you in the ring? Tell me. What is it gonna do? What is a mugshot gonna do that y'all didn't? That, that you was not a bad girl and you didn't got caught so many goddamn times. Like it sounds like a stupid. It sounds like a stupida. A stupida. A stupida. A stupida. How you get all them mugshots? And ain't learned the first time. I, I don't got no mug shots. I don't got not one mug shot. <laughs> and I promise you, I'm a good girl. I don't do no bad. I'm a good girl. I ain't done nothing. Okay? What the fuck wrong with y'all? She's got 30 mug shots. 50 mug shots. Like, what? What does that mean? Huh? <laughs> like, what? 
<laughs> Johnny, what are these people talking about? Like, I'm not a real athlete and that I don't really be working out. This is a sport. After 30 seconds, I already know what's going to happen. And I ain't letting up. Okay? Don't play with it. Don't play with it. I ain't letting up. I ain't letting up a motherfucking thing. You better go. Two many rounds. Let's go. And I say, hey, and as soon as you get that little rest, get the fuck up. Get on your feet. I don't want to hear shit. I don't want to hear a motherfucking thing. Put your motherfucking hands up. Let's go. <laughs> y'all are delusional. I knew that about y'all, though. I knew y'all was delusional. I fucking knew it. I was like, the internet is funny. The internet's a funny place, but I love to play with y'all. It'd be fun for me. Because either way, it's always a bag. <laughs> Either way, it's always back. Yes, we are fighting for real. If another person asks me if we're fighting for real, I promise you, it's go I'm gonna um like it's yes, we are fighting for real. We are fighting for real. I don't give a fuck about a bitch's mug shots. I don't give a fuck how many mug shots a bitch has. I don't give a fuck what hood the bitch is from. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? It is two rounds. All right, guys, you heard what Natalie had to say. So this fight between her and Tommy. Who do you guys think is going to win? Who do you guys think is going to win this thing? And are you guys going to subscribe to the Zeus Network so you can watch Natalie and Tommy have their little fight? And who is betting on Natalie and Tommy? Are you guys going to be using your Monopoly money or real money? Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any hot tea for me, message me on Instagram. I love you guys. Bye.